Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to the Canva Design Critique series. And in this series, what we get to do is we get to receive designs from you, okay, then I just go in there, edit, make changes and, um, you know, actually make your design look better. So, all you just need to do is to email your designs to me at Benjamin you know at gmail.com okay so benjamin you know at gmail.com that's the email um to use if you want to send me your design and make sure that when you are sending your design you send the editable link of your design so that when i make changes to your design you can also see it on your end so let's dive into this episode and see the design we have to critique all right so this is the design i received from Ab he bought, yeah that's the name i i saw on the email so pardon me if i didn't pronounce it correct so you can see this design um I've, overall the positioning of the design looks okay you understand but i have a problem with the design in terms of um the margins i think um no margins was left because if i come to file and i come to show margins you'd see you know where the margins is and it's exceeding and even if you can't keep everything in the margin it shouldn't be too close okay so um and even if it comes to the show the bleed you know show print bleed we realize that this design is just um there are so many things we have to do so let me just turn all of these things off so the bleed okay and i'll just stick to the margin so the first thing i would want to work on is the header part of it so i just duplicate the design and um yeah have i made a duplicate okay yeah i made a duplicate okay so this is what i have to say you know the white on this blue is very difficult to read especially with all of these things over here so even if we zoom in you can see it's still difficult to read what is here okay and it's because you made the bold okay and overall the color behind so maybe with this color i will just um you know come to the color picker and just you know pick a color from here and maybe you know i use a shade of it so it can be a darker version of it and I think the transparency of this has been reduced so I can increase it a little bit so that we can actually see what you have over here. Okay. And um, I would also increase the size a little bit and move it in more. Okay. Yeah. So this is the first thing I will do. And I'll just maybe reduce this a little bit and increase this a little bit. And maybe just reduce the information here because that's also going to affect the size of it because you can't make it you can't make the font bigger if there are too many things on here so you can see how the top is looking and everything should just match okay so that's what we are doing so with this i will just align it okay and i just bring it on here okay so that's what i will do for all yeah then we come here so because i've started using this color i will just maybe stick the same color and okay i think okay maybe we'll just keep it here and hold everything and bring it in uh oh so i select everything what am i even doing <laughs> select everything here and bring it in okay then i can move this to the top a little bit <coughs> sorry about that so this is what i have over here and coming down here i can still do the same thing so maybe the same thing and i reduce the transparency you know what was the transparency of this so i come here 73 so i just use the same 73 uh, over here so 73 okay then i position this here about the property and this one also over here so i will just want to say that because we want to be consistent with um even with font size we wouldn't have to add too much information okay because it gets to affect your design some way somehow yeah so then um this part of it i think hmm. okay so we we'll just select all of it okay okay i thought all of these shapes you know were grouped together but it looks like there's some extra work over here okay so maybe what i would just do is i would reduce um the spacing okay because the spacing is just too much okay so something like this then select this and this and move it you know just something like this 
okay and i can select all three of them come to um the spacing uh yeah position rather no yeah position and i just have it vertically and i tidy up okay i would adjust i would adjust it soon just take the time for me then you come and do the same thing over here vertically and tidy up okay so and we align everything also align everything okay then we move this oh okay then we move this one also over here we also align it okay so i think maybe i'll just take all of this out uh, out and out okay now i position this one here let me increase the size of this so that i can move things easily okay I also move this one here okay yeah so I think yeah this is cool then maybe let me see if I can be able to position and uh, vertically okay so you can see what we have right here so I just drop this down a little bit nice one then I hold shift select 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 and select select if you increase it a little bit duplicate and bring it here okay then i can reduce the size of this and also position this here it means i just have to drop all of this again this is some extra work <laughs> i didn't expect to be doing all of these things okay then i select this select 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 then i will just drop it down little bit okay so this is what uh we have been able to do for the top over here and uh, maybe i'll move this one to the top a little bit and this one also you know here okay then we select everything over here and you know, center try to center you can see the alignment so you just have to adjust the alignment and have to adjust the alignment also over here yeah and I think also over here, adjust the alignment. Move this one here a little bit. Okay. Then we select all of this, move it in. Okay. So that the alignment can be beautiful. Move this one also to the top. Okay. And this one can also come here. Or even, even, you can just, just because you're trying to keep it simple, this rather will have to come to the center. And yes, I think. What we have to do now is to align this i think what you are missing you know you don't have to leave this out do you, anytime you add your text just try to tuck it in okay it keeps it helps you to keep your design very tidy okay so you tuck this one also in and then we position this here and here and we can reduce the line um spacing okay because the spacing is too much and also position this here and also align it okay so so this already aligned to the left and i believe you know with this one we can just center it a little bit and also try to center this so that you know we are creating um some sort of balance okay then i move it here a little bit so that it aligns okay so this is what we have been able to do you know it's tidy up and um okay so these are the two designs and um you can see the difference i know it's difficult to really see it into details but what you see on the screen right now are the two designs you know side by side and i hope um you know i have been able to do some work but just let me know in the comment section if you think um i've been able to improve the design or i just messed it up you know who else was worse so let me know and i would also love to receive your design send me your designs and then when you're sending it just make sure you are sending the editable link so what you have to do is you come to share let's say it's your design come to share and um you know, we have the template link we have the view only link but what you need to send me is the editable link so you just have to click on copy link and make sure it's on can edit okay so that once you forward it to me i will be able to see it so just uh, email me the editable link and i will be able to work on it the name is benjamin and i'm glad i was able to work on this design always remember there is no limit to creativity i will see you in my next video